What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Russian Premium 9.7, the T72 Terms T. I'll be highlighting its stats, play style, its strengths and weaknesses, and rating them on a scale of 1 to 5. Make sure my thumbnail isn't very clickbaity. At the end of the video, I will give you my opinion on why you should or should not buy the Terms T. Let's jump right into it today. The T72 Terms T has an auto-loading 125mm cannon, with over 450 millimeters of pen. It has a 7.1 second reload, giving it a very small advantage over most tanks of summer VR, as most tanks have a reload rate of about eight seconds. An important thing to note with this tank is the ammo rack, which is a massive weak spot. The mechanized first stage ammo rack takes up about a third of the tank's interior. The ammo rack can hold 44 rounds, but since the Terms uses two piece ammo, you only have half of that. 22 projectiles and 22 propellant charges. Moving on to the armor of the T72, uh, where is it? The armor on the Terms is non-existent. It does have a very good frontal armor slope and turret covered in contact one, explosive reactive armor or ERA. ERA isn't very effective against kinetic munitions and only provides about five millimeters of protection against them. However, they are incredibly effective at protecting you against chemical munitions, such as heat FS by providing you with an outstanding 370 millimeters of protection. The hull has roughly 110 millimeters of steel protection and another 105 of texto light, while the side armor is about 80 millimeters of thickness. Jumping over to survivability, I consider two things when scoring this category. How well does the armor do to stop the rounds and can the tank and crew survive when taking damage? The T-72 Terms does neither well. With only three crew members, if you pen anything along the side of the tank, you will more than likely get ammo racked or lose your commander and gunner, destroying your tank. If you take damage to the lower plate or driver window, you will likely lose all three crew members or get ammo racked. I will mention my score for this category towards the end of the video, but I'm sure you have an idea of where I'm going to score this. Lastly, let's talk about mobility. The Terms T's mobility is pretty subpar. It's got a decent top speed of 60 kilometers an hour, but the power to weight ratio of 18 makes it rather slow to build momentum. And let's not forget to mention the atrocious reverse speed of six kilometers an hour. And do not get into a sticky situation or overextend because you will not be able to retreat. Church reverse speed is also not that great with 16.9 degrees a second. Uh, for comparison, the Leopard 2K has a turret reverse speed of 28 degrees a second and the M1 Abrams has a traverse speed of 34 degrees a second. So as you can see, the Terms T is pretty sluggish. So now that I've told you all about the Terms, let's see where it scores. Mobility, I give a three out of five. It's slow to accelerate and the reverse gear is pretty much non-existent. I would highly recommend doing your best to avoid playing in urban environments because of the low power to weight ratio and the slow to reverse speed. In cities, you're gonna struggle to swing your turret from left to right to react to changing situations. Let's move on to the score for armor. Armor, I'm giving another three out of five. It flat out sucks. Current armor is great at over 500 millimeters of armor in some areas, plus the ERA protection, but you must play this tank hull down to survive for long periods of time. The side armor is the weakest area on this tank. The ERA won't do much to help you either when all players are using kinetic rounds like APFSDS or APDS or such. The only way the ERA really gets to shine is when it's protecting you from heat FS, BESH, or even HE. The armor rating is a good transition into survivability's rating, which I give a 2 out of 5. This tank is so easily destroyed, it's almost funny. Lower Glacius, weak spot. Driver window, weak spot. Literally anywhere on the side of the tank from literally any angle, weak spot. Getting shot in the side will almost always ammo rack you. If not, you get lucky and the two guys in the turret just flat out just die. You can also get ammo racked by receiving a direct shot through the lower plate because the ammo rack sits so low in the belly of the tank. Lastly, I rate firepower a 5 out of 5. The term T is a phenomenal gun with a very good round at its BR. This is a tank you could easily bring to an up tier and still play well. It also has an auto loader, so it allows you to win more of those who can click first battles. Overall, I give the T72 Terms T a 3.25 out of 5, or a 65%. If you came here looking for an opinion on whether you should buy this tank or not, my answer is no. There are too many new players who buy this tank because it looks cool or they think it will help them grind, which it will, but they have zero understanding of how high tier gameplay works. It is very different from a 5.3, a 6.7, and I would even argue early 8.0. The Terms has a very high skill cap. I do believe the Terms is one of the best tanks in the game, but if you don't know how to play high tier, then there's no way any new player would even know where to begin with this tank. Most likely what they will do is load into a match, get a critical hit, die, and then go back to the hangar, leaving their team down a member 
because they don't have anything else to bring. If you are a new player, avoid this tank. The skill cap is too high and you need more time to develop your skills and understanding for the game. I hope you found value in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.